Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Today we're going to be talking all about ice cream. Yes, right, who doesn't love ice cream? Except for maybe the lactose intolerant, the vegans out there. But even they can enjoy ice cream that is dairy free. We'll also be talking, of course, in this tutorial about something a little less fun, but equally important, which are bump it a bum QR codes. So the intersection here between ice cream and QR codes is quite simple. It's super useful if you are a brick and mortar business person or if you're also selling online out of your brick and mortar store. Basically, what we're talking about here is how you can convert visitors, people walking through your store in person into messenger subscribers and ultimately convert them online as well, as mentioned, if you run an e-commerce store. So let's paint a more concrete scenario in all of your heads as how this could be useful. Let's say you have a customer walking into your store, your ice cream store, you have all these freezers with different types of ice cream. They go over, this customer loves cookie dough ice cream, like myself, who doesn't love it. They go to pick up a pint of this ice cream, as you can see on your screen in front of you. And on the lid of that pint of cookie dough ice cream, it has a QR code. That QR code might say underneath it something like, scan this code on your phone and give the coupon code that you get in Facebook Messenger to the person at the register when you check out for a discount. Something like 10%, 25%, whatever the case might be, it depends on your margins. But at the end of the day, you have this QR code with the incentive of, hey, scan this for a discount, give it to the cashier, the customer wins, and obviously the incentive, the benefit for you as the business owner, as the chatbot builder here, is you're capturing these customers on Messenger as well. It's not just email that you have them on, it's Messenger as well. You're getting higher open rates, higher click-through rates, better engagement all around. So of course, the question here is, well, how the heck do you set this up? It's super simple, so I'm gonna run through it pretty quickly. It's very straightforward. If you wanna get more advanced with this, you certainly can. For example, if you wanna generate a unique coupon or discount code every time a unique user comes through the bot, you can certainly do that and then match that up with the database that the POS system in the store is using so you're not having people abuse this system and just reuse the same coupon code over and over again. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's dive in here in Messenger, or in ChatFuel rather, and show you how this works. All I've done here is created a group and a block within that group. A group is just like a folder here, and the block is like a page on a website. So super simple. All we've done is create this cookie dough block. And the reason we're creating this cookie dough block specifically instead of just a generic block is because if we have these unique QR codes on these different types of ice cream, we can then segment these users in chat fuel, send them targeted offers, and just have that information, which is generally helpful in reaching a relevant audience. So here we are, I've just included this generic pint of ice cream. We could have it with a cookie dough design if we wanted to, just for demonstrational purposes. Then we'll add a text card here that says your code is, we can just write a generic one here, 25 off. Again, I would at the end of the day recommend using a more advanced methodology behind this. Basically include a JSON API plugin at the top, that takes the user's first and last name or their messenger ID because that's a unique identifier, sends it to a database if there's not already an entry for that, generate a coupon code that syncs with the store's POS system, send that to them here in Messenger, and then if they try to come back again on this same profile to get another code, obviously in that API you have set up, you could redirect them elsewhere and prevent duplicate codes from being generated and again, having people abuse this system. But if you're running a small shop like we're doing here in this example, don't worry about that, just go with the flow. So we have our text card here with the generic coupon code, which is awesome. And then the last thing we wanna do here in the block in ChatFuel is, although not necessary, to create a set user attribute plugin. So we're gonna click on that, and as you might have guessed, this will simply allow us to segment the user by whatever ice cream flavor they like. So we'll call this flavor, 
and type in cookie dough. Awesome. So this is the message the user will get after they scan that code on their phone, which is really simple and intuitive. They just open up the camera app, take a picture essentially of that code, and they'll be redirected to Messenger. So now what we need to do to actually generate this code, the QR code that is, is create a ref link here in chat field using this link button. You'll only see this if your bot is connected to a page, so keep that in mind. We'll toggle this slider here, copy the URL, click done. Then we'll go over here into this website, the qrcodegenerator.com. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. You certainly don't have to use this website. You can use any QR code generating tool that you choose. I'll then choose URL here from this list, paste in that ref link that we just created. If I want to, I can shorten it as well, but here we're just generating the QR code, so it doesn't really matter. And then here you go. Here's the QR code that is unique to that block. Obviously, you can create any number of these QR codes, one for each block, or if you just want to dump everybody into a generic QR code block, you can do that as well. But here you go. That's really all there is to it. Then, obviously, if you wanted to, you could print this out on a piece of paper, put it on that ice cream freezer, or ideally, if you have the resources, include this on the top of each of those pints of ice cream, you know, print it as part of your design. The possibilities are really up to your own creativity. So obviously if I wanted to, I could just right click this, save the image, put it into Photoshop, send it to whoever needs it to make this part of the store. And so that's a super simple way to, again, convert foot traffic in your store, specifically your ice cream shop, into Messenger subscribers so that you can reach out to them again in the future, convert them, increase their loyalty, etc. In closing here, I just want to walk you through what this will look like in Messenger if I go through. So I'll click get started and bam, there we go. We get that coupon code. So that's it for me. Let me know in the comments below how you plan on using this information, how you can apply it to your own e-commerce or brick and mortar business. Otherwise, see you in the next video and happy botting.